Oh, hey, how you doing, folks? Uh, this is Paul. I figured I'd give you an update on the Ukraine conflict. And I'm going to go ahead and get to it now and tell you what I've been able to take away from this. Um, remember, we're in the United States. And even if you were in Russia, I think that they would limit to what you could see and what you couldn't see. So we can't be sure of anything. But I'll tell you what I think. Um, I listened to Brian Berlander, who's an expat with a chip on his shoulder, in my opinion. And he basically just says that the United States and NATO cannot make enough weapons and ammunition to be able to complete, compete with the Russians. So by virtue of that, he just feels that there's no way that Russia could lose the war. Um, I guess there's some truth to that, but I'm not so quick to say that. And it looks like uh, the Ukrainians have been able to insert themselves into Kursk and regions nearby. Now, the only reason I'm telling you this is because I've played Axis and Allies, and you can have a really powerful army. Um, and the way you'll lose the game is to leave something open like your capital. And it happened to me a couple of times. And that's uh, when you have a lot of men and you send them all out and you forget to reinforce something. And it can be re really devastating and it can end the war. And that's what I think could happen here. It depends on how well um, prepared the Ukrainians are to do this. And I'm not sure they're very prepared because I was hearing something about they were launching drones at the nuclear power facility near there. And um, if you wanted to take out the facility, you wouldn't be using drones. You'd go for the real McCoy. Uh, and, and if they had it, they would use it. So I don't think they have it. And that means that they don't have it together. So I think I'm going to wait on this to get more information because we just can't tell what's going on. We just can't tell. Um, all we seem to know is that the Russians have lost something like 500 miles of their territory and that a couple hundred thousand people or so have been moved out of these areas into safe shelter, or what we'd assume to be safe shelter. Um, I also watched um, uh, Patrick, whatever his name is, the guy that has a Russian wife, and he's stationed over there on his own. Oh, pardon me, folks. I've had a long day. And uh, he's saying that the uh, Ukrainians are attacking civilians. And it's not surprising to me uh, because I, I'm not sure, but I think probably the Russians would be doing the same thing because you just don't know if there are people mixed in with the civilians, if there's military mixed in with the civilians. So I don't know what to say about it. Um, I think we'll know more once uh, we get by a couple of weeks, two or three weeks without the power facility uh, in uh, Kursk being attacked, and that is the nuclear facility. Um, that's going to mean a lot. And also, um, it had come out today, it's important, that the Ukrainians made a massive strike on an airport. I don't know where it is, but not only did they obliterate the airport, and the airport is no longer usable at any means. But they took out many Su-24 jets of the Russians, and more importantly, several is what they're saying, of the Su-34s, which are the only uh, Russian jets that can carry the 6,000-pound bombs, those 3,000-kilogram bombs. So, um, they've, Russia's already admitted that, according to what I've heard. Uh, 
without those planes, I don't see that Russia can do too, too much. I just don't see that they're going to do much. And if, if uh, Ukraine gets the support that they need with weapons and men, we could have a serious situation developing here. So we'll wait. We'll wait. But that strike last night, it was devastating on airplanes, uh, jets from the Soviets. So we'll see what happens. And uh, I'll be back with you next week and we'll go over this again. As it stands right now, I can't tell you one way or another. Brian Berlander thinks it's all horse feathers. Um, Military Summary Channel is just kind of reporting it and then moving on, talking about how good they're doing in other areas. But I think this is a real problem for the Russians, and we'll see what happens on it. Anyways, folks, take care. I'll be back with a quick run of the news since we really haven't had too much today. Bye.